Okay, so we're doing an example of recursive and special sequences, a uh, specifically recursive formula here. I've got this sequence where the first term is uh, 4, the first term of A is 4. And basically what I want to do is use that information in order to figure out what the next term, the next term, the next term are. And I want to figure out, uh, let's just say, the first four terms. So we'll go ahead and do that. So what are the first four terms of this example right here? Well, first one's four. That's given. I show students this, and all of a sudden students are flustered. They don't really know what to do here. They say, I, you know, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Well, um, I'll show you the subscript, although I don't necessarily explain it like that. It just depends. If I feel more comfortable than I do, and if I don't, then not so much. So a sub 1 is 4. If I want to figure out a sub 1 plus 1, which would be a of 2, and basically all I do is I plug in the first one, or substitute in the first one, 3 times 4, subtract the 2. 3 times 4 is 12, 12 minus 2 is 10, bam, finito. That's not really the way I explain it, though, because when I do explain it like that, it still throws students at a loss. So what I do instead is I say this. All you got to do if you want to figure out the next term is just take it and multiply it by 3 and subtract 2. That's it. So 3 times 4, 12. Subtract 2, 10. Do we take the 10 next? Yeah. 3 times 10, 30. Minus 2, 28. 3 times 28, 84. 84 subtracted by 2, 82. So pretty much that's it. Just go ahead and substitute the previous value in in order to figure it out, especially when you got this n plus 1 and n stuff. Other than that, that's really all there is to it uh, in that particular example. So those are the first four terms, 4, 10, 28, and 82. That's how I explain it really quickly. It usually seems to work pretty well. When I focus on the subscripts, things get confused. So, you know, that's it. I hope that was helpful. Have a good day. Goodbye.